I did this plain air painting that I've been using as a color study. And I use this though as my reference. It's like a, I took this photo, but then I edited it all together and like changed the composition and stuff. So basically I've been using both of these to make a bigger painting. And then I'm gonna use all three of these to make an even bigger painting. That's gonna be like the best thing that I've ever made. I want to take my own reference photos and turn them into paintings. The problem is, is that I have no photography experience to speak of. So what I've been doing is buying costumes, hiring local models, and just doing my best. For this shoot, I hired a girl named Madison and bought this purple dress. When I go on one of these photo shoots, I just try to let things happen naturally. I'm not good enough yet to go in with too many preconceived notions for what I'm trying to get out of it. If I go out for the day and I end up with five good paintings that I can make from the photos, I'm happy with that. But I can't help but feel that on this day that I was out of my element. My lack of photography skills showed. I had a whole bunch of blurry pictures and a lot of them just kind of sucked. I just couldn't help but feel like I kind of blew it a little bit. Near the end of our photo shoot, I took her down to the river by my house and I ended up getting this photo. And while it wasn't my favorite composition, I really liked the pose and also it was definitely in focus enough that I could actually use it. This composition needed a lot of work. It's obviously quite tilted and where she is way down here just does nothing for the composition. When I'm trying to figure out a composition, I will make a canvas the same dimensions as my actual canvas. I will import the picture and I'll Photoshop it until I get something that's a lot closer to what I want. Before, after, before, after. I leveled out the composition. I made her a center point of it and I added in some flowers on the bottom. I felt like this made a nice triangle shape in regards to the composition. I also felt like a lot of these leading lines were coming in here and that generally there would be a lot of things that would keep your eyes on the canvas. So my first step was to take this image, transfer it onto a smaller canvas and take that canvas down to the river to the same spot so I could do a plein air painting and get some of the color tones from real life. I'm going to get some premixes on my um, palette. I mean all the colors, there's lots of colors in there, but I really want to nail the mountains in the sky. Like I, I think that's going to go quite a long ways. I basically want to take a bunch of premixes that I think are pretty close and then I can adjust them once on site. So I'm not, so I've got some stuff that I'm just not like, um, I basically want to put myself in the best position to have success today. Um, I'm going to put a little wash on here and we're going to just pick out some values quickly. And then um, I think I'm going to start going. It looks really straight in real life because it is. It's like down the straight canal, but I think I need to chop up the line a little bit to make it look like a more realistic painting. That's kind of um, maybe weird of a concept as that is. So now this, the rest of this sky needs to be um, lighter. I like everything about this um, painting. About the composition, I, I think. Oh, I see. Dude, look how good this thing is, actually, for me. Look at this. That's fucking perfect. Oh my god. Did you see that? This thing fits fucking perfectly in here. I'm gonna go do this, I guess. I finished this plein air painting yesterday. This is what I did. I packed up all my stuff. And went on a little adventure. Went and did a color study down at the uh, at the place that I took this at. Now we're ready to work on something bigger. Just tried to go and hit the color notes. I want to use the photography for for the reference of the forms, and then I want to use real life for color. Basically, the colors that you see on the monitor and stuff are not the colors that you're going to see in regular life. But now that I have this little nugget, when I go and paint a bigger painting. I can use the photo reference that I have to figure out the form and to figure out where everything is and the placement. But then I can use this painting in real life as a reference for how I want my colors to be. So today, when I go in with this one, do you see how it's going to work now? This composition is basically too good to not do on a huge canvas and she look, she's just going to look way more impressive.
I'm kind of, sometimes I kind of use the edge of the brush to scrape off a little bit of the wet paint. And then I use the other side just to flatten it out and lay some different colors on there. This should actually be all sandbag here, but um, I didn't want a straight line. I, there's too many parallel straight lines here already. So I, I basically am putting some, I'm putting some foliage in there and I'm making this the bank instead. Cause I was kind of, the, 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 the main reason why I put the little bit of the sky in is because I didn't want someone to read that mountain and the sky. That's what I was concerned with. I was gonna say one of the things though that I seen yesterday when I was painting was um, these trees definitely reflected down into the water. One of the other things that I really like about this picture, I, li I like that there was like a gradient from um, light to dark on this mountain. And then when I did this yesterday, um, I kept it pretty white over here and I put some higher chroma stuff in the sky. I thought that maybe that helped with the illusion that, that, the, that there's, there's like a, this wash over top of it. I sketched this on here. I uh, erased some stuff with thinner. I'm pretty happy with where the proportions are. At least it's enough to dive into it. I just want to get a little bit of paint on here because I want this to put a hair. Um, I want it to blow basically for the wind. Oh, I see. This this painting is on an 18 by 24, but I think I'm going to do this on a canvas that's 36 by 48. It's basically twice as big. That's my plan with this. So um, it's it's. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to fit it on this. Um, like where I have my canvas. I don't even think I'm going to be able to fit it on here. I was trying to think about yesterday about how I was going to do it. I think I'm just going to order it and go for it. So, so I need to like get it in. Um, I'm excited to get some uh, color onto her so it looks less like... Now that it looks cartoony. Well, it kind of got a weird illusion going on with just her drawn in. I usually don't work quite like this. This, this background and stuff is like probably going to stay a lot looser like that. So it's a lot closer to being done. Like normally I wouldn't bring something like this up to, um, up to a state of refinement before I like put a little bit of paint on here, but just because the background was so simple, it's not going to need refinement. Like I'm just leaving it like that. It's, it, it, it can just chill. So I'm not, I'm not used to like this figure being so blank basically before I got to her. This is not regular. You know what I mean? Like I would say like this half of the painting, that top half is like almost done. But that's generally not how um, I, I would paint. She's wearing these really cute shoes that I bought her. They're like slip-ons. But what I want to happen is that um, at her legs at the bottom here, it, like I said, I'm gonna paint this on a bigger one. So it, it might kind of happen here a little bit by accident. There's a lot of the background, like the texture of the canvas showing through here. And I like how loose some of these brush strokes are. These are like super abstract. I guess you'd call it like impressionistic. I don't really care what you call it, but that's kind of what I wanted to do is just be like as loose. I want to basically define the rest of the painting as loosely as I can. And then when I come up into her face, it's going to be painted more tightly. One of the things that I did want to happen is I want to put in a couple strokes right down here that are going to be her shoes. But I, but at some point, I don't want you to be able to like discern it from the background. Does that make sense? I don't think I got it on this one. I think next time, when I make it bigger again, I need to remember to come in super dark here at the beginning. So I don't have to come in now and do like, do this, these type of things. Like I'm painting thin to thick. So like I'm, um... I'm working everything up until like, I know that this is the spot where like this color is going to go and then bam, like part of what I want to do is, is build up the physical texture of the paint so that, um, like the stuff in the foreground needs to be further ahead physically than the stuff in the background. So like if you put a nice thin layer on this and barely have any paint on that mountain, it's always going to read as further back. Well, not sorry, not always, but if you get the right color and the right value, then it's going to read a lot better that it's further back. And then as, as there's more, as there's more texture up here, 
then your eye is going to be drawn more up front. Also, like, so say for this particular stroke right here, but can you see how the light is catching on this? It's because that, that stroke has like a lot of texture on it compared to like anything back here where these ones like melt in a lot more. Like there's little ridges on this stroke of paint. I'll put another one on here just to see what it looks like. But um, basically the light is catching on there and it's making this look like it's more forward than anything else that's currently on the canvas. So like that's good because it's helping painting is an illusion. And so it's, it's giving the, it's giving, it's basically giving the painting a, a physical depth. I'm saving those, I'm saving those big ones for the end. That's also why I haven't painted in like some of these flowers and stuff that are supposed to be in here, which I'm working on now. But that's like another reason why the, why they haven't showed up yet is because like when I put them in, I want them to be like, boom. Now that I'm seeing these colors on here, I think I want these blue ones next time on my big one. I think I want these big, these blue ones to be way smaller. That's my, um, that's my, like, that's my takeaway. I think I need to make some of the highlights. Like, on, like some of the reflections, I need to mix them up into the sky color, which is just like, I don't know, a really hazy white. I really like how I did the mountains. When I was driving around here this morning, I was looking at them. And there was like, it was like very diffused and like, uh, I don't know the mountains just had like, there was just a lot of like, they just looked like this. And I was like, yeah, it was a really good choice just to paint what I see instead of uh, painting what I think it should look like. And I can measure how long that her palm would be to palm fingers. And then I can put it over here and see. That looks pretty good. She looks pretty dope, I think. Like, it's like, it's like, it's flipping close. I had an art teacher, an online art teacher that said basically once you were like closer to the end, when you closer to everything being right, you can start to see all the imperfections and like in everything. That's how I feel right now. No, there's something I don't have right about, I think the shape of her face, the outside shape of her face. And there's something different I can do with the eyes and stuff too. Damn, it's like pretty close, but like there's something about it where like, she looks, this girl in the mirror to me, like she looks good. I can see how it's different. She looks like a little, a little Kazakhstani. Kazakhstan or like Eastern Russia. She kind of got, it's like white skin, but like Asian eyes. I, I the, the highlights on her face definitely need to be more, but I, I just need to let the paint, set, I just want to let the paint set up, I think a little bit. Yeah, check that out. Pretty dope, I think. I'm really happy with that one. This is 36 by 48. I knew that for my big canvas, my character was going to be about 33 inches high. So I drew it on some cardboard and then I transferred that onto my canvas. So with some of these, I'm just trying to get some darker toes in there because um, it's going to take me a couple days to work down there anyways. definitely gonna put some um, lighter colors on top of these so I, I don't have to be like too uh, perfect or anything but I, I, I definitely I don't know I just need more let me show you let me explain it to you this way I'll learn you guys something I made this painting and um, basically this run here of trees is literally twice as long and twice as tall as things recede into the distance, there's more white that gets introduced into the colors because there's more particles of air and suspended um, fine air particulates in the air bouncing and the white lights basically scattering off of everything. So <clears throat> as things are coming closer to you, things resolve differently. 
So stuff that say like a couple kilometers away, like these trees were, <clears throat> will have instead of having black shadows, they'll have blue shadows. And then as I get closer to her here, she'll have like the highest points of contrast. But basically, along this riverbank here, I want it to go from faded out to like <clears throat> a medium style of contrast, like a blue. Um, so I just need to nail that, but it can't be too dark. It's not going all the way to black. So I, I just need to make it like, um, there's more room to play with though. Well, <clears throat> I was more getting at the point that, um, the point that I was trying to make was that, um, I don't really have to, I don't really have to move the, the, I can get, I can speak English. I'll get it out. I don't really have to plan the move so much because I already have this other these two paintings that I can use as reference. But like, well, it's really easy to see how on this one, there's just like the level of detail that you can put on this canvas is limited because of how big the canvas is. So when I move up to the next one, I can go basically twice as much detail. And then when I move up to this one, I can go like four times as much detail because it's going to be four times bigger than that other one. So there's just more brush marks that I can put into here. I don't know, that's kind of what I was trying to get at, I think. I had a point. So as I was talking about earlier, though, these uh, trees here are fading out, so they become more... The contrast ups as they're coming closer. But then there's a couple more banks and a couple more rows of bushes that are also closer to me the or the viewer so these need to be a darker value i think that what i have on here right now is too dark but once i put some green over top of it it'll um soften out a bit i'm also kind of a little lost i think right now in the sense of i think i should have one more row of trees bushes and I don't like but maybe I can also just work maybe I can also just oh I see I don't like this it's too like a, a little bit softer I think I need to go, well, let's pull this up. Yeah, more yellow. Uh, this is not the right color on that needs to be on here right now, but it's kind of okay. I'm just kind of thinking about like staining the canvas a little bit more than anything with this color. these colors this is a good this is good this is going in the right direction I basically want to put in some um, more yellows but I need to work up to it, basically. But, like, this was a good way. There's just some good color variation going on. good I would say. Am I blending those transitions of color as I go now? Um, a 
little bit. I honestly don't think a lot about what I'm doing that much. Like I, um, I just kind of do it. I kind of feel that I picked some colors and right now I'm trying not to add too many more colors into my mix right now. Um, unless it's for a very specific reason. Because um, I kind of think that having too many colors to choose from is a mistake for a beginner painter. I still feel like I'm a beginner. But um, no, I, I feel like that's a mistake. Um, like I feel that you, that you don't like... There's too much stuff to learn without getting confused by like which red to use. Like that's adding a layer of complexity I think that I don't really need right now. That stuff will all come to me eventually. I just gotta make paintings. You know what I mean? And like getting in the way of yourself, I think a lot of times with um yeah, which red do I use? I think it's a uh, an air. There's something that's seriously wrong with her. This is not even close. I'm not even close on this. I need to I need to I think I need to end this soon and get a serious uh like this needs to come over. I need to I need to measure some proportions and stuff. Cause like the outside of her the in the inside of her eyelash should line up with this and I had it way over on this side. And the top of her eyebrow should go just about to the middle of her nose, and I had it way over too. So I wonder what else I have like that's like way out of way out of line, you know? Whew, okay. This is gonna be dope, I think. Feeling pretty good. Let's go where's my mirror? It's way over here. Look at this. Look at the difference. Look at the difference that orange makes on the back compared to this one. Look how much flatter this one looks. Isn't that crazy, though? Like the orange on her butt? Actually, I can probably bring this one closer so it's like the same size. Maybe. Oh, it's gonna get darker. You know? Look at how much difference the uh, orange made. sitting the line of her shoulder above the strap and her arm below looks off um, yeah it's not it's not her it's not her arm this is not the top of her arm this is like her arm the top of her arm the shoulder is here and the upper back that's why this comes down here she's kind of like rolling she's kind of like rolling her um, She's kind of rolling her shoulder forward a little bit. I'm um, I'm excited for where this painting's going. I don't know if I'm gonna get this done today. I'm kind of okay if it if I also work on it tomorrow. I keep thinking that um basically though there's some really nice highlights on here there's some nice transitions to red lots of warmer tones in her um in the shadows there's lots of grays in the cool parts 
her hair. I really got some nice oranges, I think, in here. Kind of contrasts nicely with uh, the lights of the hair. You guys probably can't quite tell, but um, just from maybe that's yeah, a little bit better. There's definitely some little patches of white. This side of the face, up here. Here, 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 here. catching. This hand, I think, is... Uh, this hand came pretty far today. I gotta fix this one up today. So, got everything at a bit of a different angle. <clears throat> then we'll uh, see how she goes. I think I'm pretty much done this for the night, actually. I was just kind of looking at it. There's not, I don't think I have much more to do on this. Maybe just want to cover up her bicep. I might just let it set up and put a little bit more on there tomorrow after that gets set up. But I'm thinking it looks pretty good overall. That's it, guys. I guess that's it. This painting felt like it was the culmination of a lot of hard work. It's been a relentless building of skills over the last couple of years to get to a point where I can start to make the things that I want to make. And I don't think that this is the best thing that I'll ever make, but currently I do think this is the best thing I've ever made. The path to mastery and the road to greatness is a long one. You'll be challenged along the way, but your ability to solve problems and to persevere in the face of challenges can give you skills and confidence that you can take with you. Finishing this one really makes me feel like I'm on the right path and I'm excited to see what the future holds.